Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing the review of the 2019 Tanta 4. I lost uh, something. This is my desk, so you might see like pencils and stuff like that around. Um, Alright, so I sadly lost the book to it because I got this on Christmas and it's currently the 25th of January. So. <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. So we're gonna go through each part, and yes, if you see yellow spots, that's probably one of the most prominent. It is part of the set. Okay, this is completely part of the set. It's even on the box art, so that's why it's like that. <laughs> that's no idea why they chose yellow, but it is. All right, so it is. All right, it's even on the uh, box art. So we're gonna start with what I like to call the head of the thing. And before I get into the... Uh, this is a very... <laughs> this took roughly about eight hours to build, if you guys want to know. The, uh, build length. It's actually a pretty easy build, it's just really long. <laughs> um, towards the back, there is a lot of uh, repetitiveness. But besides that, there's not a whole lot of stuff. Um, we got the engines in the back, the escape pod. Uh, the main area and the head of the hand of course so we're gonna start off with the head of it and, and first let me do something real quick and I'm gonna call this uh, getting the tantive naked I guess you can call it and meaning I'm going to take off everything that you can take off that won't destroy <laughs> that won't destroy the build uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'll just continue doing this. So, right there. That's it. That's everything off it. <laughs> Alright, let's get everything back on it. Alright, 510. Alright, guys. Um, So, this is what it looks like. We're gonna talk about the minifigures for a second. So, let me grab them. And, uh, you do not get two, um, two of these guys. I actually happen to have one from earlier, so I'm gonna put that guy back there. He's just there for the set. Um, it does come with him, him, her, and the droids. So, um, we're gonna move to about... Uh, around here. Alright, so these are the minifigures, guys. So we have Princess Leia, um, Captain Antilles, one of them, uh, Bail Organa, who is a very important figure, R2-D2, and obviously C-3PO. <laughs> you get another, you got more of them to add to your collection. And all of them are really cool. I wanted to get this set before it, rent, I guess, uh, expired. I guess, whatever it's called. When? Um, so it's time to show you the features of the set, I guess. Alright, guys. This is the features of the set. Obviously, I showed you earlier that you can take these off. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to be too lazy. Um, turret is movable. With these, can move backwards. And also, this can move. But it can only move to sides because you can take that off. Um, you obviously have the center. You have this little piece of storage area. You have the obviously escape pods with... They don't really have enough. For, they don't have a whole lot of room inside them. But they have just enough for um, R2-D2 and C-3PO. We have the carrying handle. Which surprisingly this is the center of balance right here. But, um, it's just surprising that that's the center of balance, but, you know, it, it's the center of balance for the entire thing, which kind of makes sense, because all this stuff back here really adds weight to it. And what, you will eventually get to a point, I'd say like eight bags in, out of the uh, 13, <laughs> yeah, that, um, you cannot lift it with, uh, with your hands anymore. You can't lift it. <laughs> so, um... Let's talk about, um, 
It's pretty playable, I have to admit. I really enjoyed it with it. Um, it's really good on, like, a stand. Like, there's also, like, shooters in the bag over there. Um, very helpful. But, um, they're all, everything that is, except, really, that is hidden quite well. And I highly, and it, they're just hidden quite well. And I think they're good, I, I guess. Um... So this is pretty much the ship. I didn't show off a whole lot of things. Things are just falling. All right, guys. Um, this is pretty much the ship right here. Um, I didn't really show off a whole lot of things. A uh, good example is how there's like under stuff, like the turret. Um, like if I can bring the camera down, um, there's a con there's it drops there, obviously there and back there. There are some drops and the thing in the back, but um, overall, um, so overall, guys, I think this is a very good model of the Tantive Four. Like, look at that. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> um, this is the entire ship. Here is my arm next to it. It is quite long. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But, um, like, yeah, I normally have it pointed like that. Carrying handle, which is the radar, this is still pretty cool. You know, I did forget to show off, though. These bad boys in the back. The engines, which are... This is one of the most repetitive things I have to I've oh I've had to build ever. These engines. Like occasionally we'll just see like, oh look a sticker, but there's no other stickers. <laughs> it's just weird like that. <coughs> I don't know what that was. Did something fall? Whatever. Alright, well um and these are the engine like I said. They're pretty decent, I guess. Um, so let's uh, get ready for the outro. All right, guys. Um, this is probably one of my most favorite sets I've ever built. Um, this is a two hundred dollars set, by the way, if you didn't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, I guess, of video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys next time, man. Duh. Goodbye.